Hi everyone, and welcome to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Mike. So today is going to be a, an article about wheelchairs,、ah. not human wheelchairs.、Ah. So、that's a bit different.、Ah. Uh, have you ever had to use a wheelchair for anything? Uh、uh-uh. uh. No. 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 Luckily, I guess I should say luckily. No, I've、yeah. always had use of my legs. Yeah. I've hurt my neck. I've hurt my hand and、right. arm, but never anything. Below my belt, so、oh, okay. I guess that's、uh, that's probably why. How about you? Have you ever been rolling around on a wheelchair、uh, because of a broken leg or no, something? No,、uh, I am yet to break any bone.、Uh, dislocated, so I've kind of popped it out of its joint, but、okay. I've never never had to to sit down in a wheelchair. Good.、Um, the most I've done with a wheelchair is occasionally helped somebody、ah, yes. get around in them. Okay. Yeah.、Um, yeah. Sure. My wife, after she gave birth,、oh. needed needed just a bit of help because、right. she was. Walking was a bit painful at that、mm. point for her, so、okay. wheeled her around. But、I'd, that was mostly in a hospital or somewhere like that. Yeah, and kind of to to where she was staying、oh, after okay. that. So okay, yeah, so a little little bit of that. I sometimes wonder in Taipei if using a wheelchair is really. The best way, because there's scooters everywhere, or people are selling food on the sidewalk, and you know the sidewalks have steps and stuff like that. I、so. think overall, I mean, they, the MRT stations、They're、seem、great. pretty good、They're、for、well、for、done. wheelchair、yeah. access. A lot of other places I've seen do have ramps around. They're changing things、slowly. so. Yeah. yeah, I think by and large, it's not too bad here. Not too I, bad. I could be wrong, but as we said, it's not people. In wheelchairs, we're looking at today. It's something a little different.、Hmm. Let's read through the article and find out who or what is in the chair. Robots. Reading. A second chance for injured animals. It's a dangerous world out there if you walk on four paws. Every year across Taiwan. Hundreds of cats and dogs break their legs in road accidents. However, it's often too expensive to make wheelchairs for these animals. Instead, many of them have to be put down. A couple in Shinju is trying to do something about that, though. Pan Jie and his girlfriend Lin Jun make special wheelchairs for animals that need them. Pan and Lin started out in 2008. After almost experiencing an animal tragedy, a coworker had hit a stray dog with her car and couldn't afford a wheelchair for it. Rather than let the animal be put down, Pan built a chair for it himself. His design was so successful that he decided to use it for other animals in need. Today, Pan and Lin make wheelchairs for both pets and stray animals. Through this, they hope to save cats and dogs everywhere from an unnecessary fate. They're giving Taiwan's injured animals a new lease on life, one chair at a time. So the article begins by saying it's a dangerous world out there. If you walk on four paws, ah, so not robots. Not robots, not robots in this case, no, because robots don't have paws. Animals have paws. A paw is what the name we give to an animal's foot. Okay, so dogs have paws. Cats,、mm-hmm. bears, lions,、mm-hmm. tigers. Oh my! All of those animals have paws. I guess a paw kind of has. Sometimes the claws can kind of go、mm-hmm. in and out. Sometimes、sure. there's little areas where there's no fur or、little、hair, pads on the where they where they kind of touch the ground. It's、yep. a little bit of skin, that kind of thing.、Uh, so that is a paw. We can also use paw as a verb.、Uh, mm. If you think of the way an animal might kind of scratch or wave its paw at something,、mm-hmm. we can say it is pawing at you. And humans can do that too if we kind of. Act in a way like an animal does.、Mm, that's true. Yeah.、Um, but here we're using it as a noun. Here's an example: The bear got its paw caught in the empty jam jar.、Mm. Kind of reached it in, couldn't get it out again. Wow, that's、mm. a bad place to have your paw、it's, caught yeah,、no、or your、fun. hand if you're a human. Well, it says every year across Taiwan, hundreds, hundreds of cats and dogs break their legs. In road accidents, poor animals. Yeah, absolutely. Just like people, animals can have accidents, and、mm-hmm. in some ways, they're more、uh, at risk of having accidents because they spend a lot of their time outside. They're small. They move around at night, and of course, a lot of them don't have the training that we have、mm. to look both ways. 
before you cross the road. They might run out into the road, get surprised by a car, truck, even a scooter,、mm-hmm. get hit. And like if people get hit by a car or truck, they can break bones. And if、uh, an animal like a dog or a cat breaks its legs. It's not going to be getting around very easily. No, sadly, it's often the end for that animal.、Right. Uh, we'll kind、right. of get into that in a little bit. Now, if a human is hit by a car or、mm-hmm. a scooter and breaks their leg, right, we can give them a wheelchair yeah, to kind of sit in to ambulances, get all them around. Sorts of equipment. So what、yeah. we see here, though, is, however, it's often too expensive to make wheelchairs for these animals.、True. We've got human wheelchairs.、Sure. Hospitals have loads that they can just use.、Yep. Animals who would pay to、yeah. make a wheelchair for these、Not、animals? So, what is a wheelchair? We've used this word in our introduction and now today in the article. A wheelchair. It's all one word. It's a chair with wheels. Okay, two big ones usually. It's typically used to allow people who can't get around or who have trouble doing so. To move around and go places, so we think of the elderly,、mm-hmm. uh, the disabled,、sure. people recovering from surgery,、oh, yeah. and so on. Now, some wheelchairs need to be pushed. You need to have someone behind them,、mm-hmm. or you can kind of push the wheels if it's not too far. But there are also electric wheelchairs、sure. that you can kind of control and move it around from place to place. Absolutely, they're basically just made for people who have trouble getting around on their legs,、mm. or you know, they might have pain. They might not be able to walk. Too far. Yep. So a wheelchair can be very useful, and as you said, that's why we have sort of free ones. A hospital might give out, or you can buy fancy, expensive、mm. ones if you're going to be using it a lot. But for animals, the options are much fewer. They don't have a lot of wheelchairs. So what's the alternative? It says instead, instead of having a wheelchair for an injured cat or dog, instead many of them have to be put down.、Mm. That's not good. Now this phrase to put down an animal is a little bit different from if you put down something you're carrying. If your arms are full of books or something, you might find a table to put them down on. Or even if you're carrying a cat, you might put it down on the floor. But when we're talking about sick, injured, or very old animals, the meaning here is different. It means to kill the animal, but to do it in a kind and gentle way. This is what we would do with a cat or a dog or any other pet that we love a lot. That's very old. That's very sick. Its life doesn't have much longer to go. Maybe the animal lives in pain all the time, and it really can't enjoy our life. Well, then, as a kind owner, you might have to make the difficult decision to take your pet to a vet, to a veterinary hospital, to see an animal doctor, and there they can use certain medicines and drugs to. Basically, kill the animal. We might call them to put them to sleep or to put them down. It's a gentle way of, you know, ending the life of an animal that you care about. Okay, so this is kind of the problem. Many、yeah. animals get injured and then they can't move around, but、mm-hmm. we can't get them wheelchairs. That's right. So they kind of often say, "All right, poor animal. Sorry about this happened, but." That's it for you. It、You're, can't walk. Yeah. It can't run. It can't, can't jump. It can't har- easily get food. It tr- has trouble even going to the bathroom by itself or、yep. s- things like that. So in a situation like that, it might actually be nicer to put the animal yeah, down. Yeah, if it's in a lot of pain. Sad as it is. Okay, now we kind of move towards the solution, and、mm. we see that a couple in Shinju is trying to do something about that. Though,、hmm. so couple. This word usually can mean a pair of something or two things. So, like a couple of people, a couple of apples, something like that. We also use the word "couple" to talk about two people who are in a romantic relationship.、Right. They could be boyfriend, girlfriend.、Mm-hmm. They could be husband, wife, something like that. In our article, the couple in question are boyfriend and girlfriend. They're、oh, not married、okay. yet, so、okay. uh, maybe they won't get married at all. But they are still in a romantic relationship. They、right. do things together. They're committed to each other. That kind of thing. Here's an example for couple. The couple sitting over there. Just got married last weekend.、Oh, maybe that. Congrats. Couple, they're maybe they're on their honeymoon. That's、mm. what a lot of couples do after they get married. Now let's get back to our wheelchair-making couple from Shinju. It says Pan Chie and his girlfriend Lin Chun make special wheelchairs for animals that need them. That's、awesome. right. Same idea as a wheelchair for humans, but their wheelchairs, of course, have to be designed and shaped differently to fit an animal's body. 
but in either case, they're helping this person or animal who has trouble using its its own legs. Yep. So let's kind of take a, take the story back to、yeah. where this this couple, where these two people got started.、Hmm. We see Pan and Lin started out in two thousand and eight, twenty o eight, I guess you could say, after almost. Experiencing an animal tragedy,、mm. so kind of something a little bit bad happened, but it inspired them to do something. And we say they started out. If you start out, you begin something. And we often use it to talk about some kind of business or some kind of project, something that will probably take quite a long time, rather than just okay, we started it and an hour later it's done. This is more of a long-term activity. Right. And what caused them to start out? On this mission to build the best animal wheelchair, an animal tragedy that happened or almost happened in their life. What is a tragedy? This is a noun that just means a terribly sad and horrible event. All right, we can have a small personal tragedy, like if your if your loved one dies or、mm-hmm. something like that, or we can have the big tragedies. We might call those disasters that you hear on the news: an airplane crash or a hurricane, a typhoon. Hurts a lot of people, but basically, it's a really sad story where not much good happens, but a lot of bad things happen. And even if you're not connected to it in some way, if you read about it, you'll probably feel sad and and upset for the people who were affected because tragedies are just no good. Yep, terrible things, but, but they do happen. Yes, that's true. What and what was this tragedy?、Hmm. We see a coworker had hit a stray dog with her car、hmm. and couldn't afford a wheelchair for it. Oh wow!、So、yeah, we see that a lot of these are very expensive because、hmm. they're different kinds of wheelchairs. Why would you pay that much money for a poor little animal, especially a stray one that isn't even yours? Because the word "stray" here is used to describe an animal that doesn't have a home. Or not a permanent home. It lives on the streets. It sleeps where it can. It eats what it can. Maybe somebody will occasionally leave food out yeah, for it. Yeah, people do. Sometimes, get, you know, it can find a place where it can sleep most of the time.、Mm-hmm. Uh, but that animal doesn't belong to anyone. It doesn't have any owners that give it a home, food, love, companionship, and the rest. They're kind of just street cats or street dogs. Yeah. And in the article, it also said that this worker who hit, hit the stray dog couldn't afford to buy a special wheelchair. To afford, this verb basically means you are able to pay for something. You have enough money to pay for that thing and not have big trouble or have to borrow money. We use this when we're thinking about our budget, when we're thinking about making a plan for our spending and deciding. What we can do and what we can't do. All right. So especially for something big and expensive, you might have to think: Can I afford to buy a new car? Can I afford to go to America to study university? You often wouldn't use it for something small and simple like affording a bottle of water. Most people might have enough for that. But for the big expensive things, you have to be sure you can afford it before you decide to spend your money. For example, I'd like to go to Paris for my vacation, but I'm not sure I can afford it. Okay, so the woman has、mm. hurt a dog. She can't afford the wheelchair.、Yeah. It's a stray dog, so there's no owner to kind of step、True. in and maybe take care of it. But she wants to do the right thing. Yes, so good for her.、Uh, and as do Pan and Lin, this couple、mm-hmm. who it's their coworker.、Yeah. So we see in the article, rather than let the animal be put down, remember that means kind of gently put to sleep that they don't wake up from. Pan built a chair for it. Himself. Well, so like, I'll I'll build that thing. Interesting. So he decided to build this stray dog a wheelchair. It says his design was so successful that he decided to use it for other animals in need. So he thought of it. Maybe he drew it up on paper. Maybe he looked at some examples on the internet. Built it, and then when they put the stray dog in this new wheelchair. The dog loved it. It worked、mm. really well, and it seemed to,、uh, you know, fix the entire problem of this dog moving around on its own. So obviously, the design of his wheelchair was very good. What is the design of something? Basically, it's the shape of something. We often use this when talking about well, art, but in our in our normal lives, more like our technology,、mm. right? You can have a phone or a computer or a bicycle or something like that. 
but depending on its design, that will make it easier to use or will make it useful in certain special situations. Okay, so the the engineers will decide what the、uh, machine will do, but the designer then will come in and take all of those little parts and put them into the most useful and possibly most beautiful or attractive arrangement. That would be the design. Here's a good example. Apple products are famous for their modern design. Remember、mm. when the first iPhones、oh, came out? Rounded corners, Everyone, the little buttons, so for your thumb. easy to use and so light and thin. People loved the design. Never mind what the phone could actually do. Now, in that sentence, we also saw the grammar structure so something that something, and this kind of sentence is used to indicate the results. The first part of the sentence with so in it. So is always followed by an adjective, and this part indicates that the quality, whatever adjective we're talking about, is present in large amounts. So it was so big, really big. It was so successful, really successful, and so on. This clause could also mean something was too much. It was so expensive. The smell is so awful, and so on. So that's the first clause. The second clause, beginning with that, shows the results of the first clause. The pizza was so big that we couldn't finish it. Now we can also use such followed by a noun, or so many or much followed by a noun, and have the same kind of sentence effect. There was such a mess in the living room that I couldn't find anything. There were so many people on the bus that. I waited for the next one. There was so much rain that we didn't go out. So in this case,、mm. we said the design was successful.、That's、in fact,、right. so successful that he kept using it.、There、But what、go. does successful mean? Well, that adjective basically means something does what it's supposed to do, and it does it very, very well. We can use successful to talk about people, someone、mm-hmm. who sets themselves a difficult goal, like running a marathon or getting into a great school or passing their tests with a hundred hundred percent. They would be successful. They set a difficult goal. They worked hard and they reached it. But we can also use it for things. Often with products, if、mm-hmm. a company says this product will do all sorts of great things for you, and then you buy it and you find that it does all of those great things for you with no problem, that's a very successful product. And of course, if if it's a successful product, it will also sell a lot, make a lot of money, and be successful in that way too. But basically, it's doing what it says it will do, and it's doing it very, very well. For For example, Travis's business wasn't very successful, and it closed after only one year. Ah,、oh, poor so, Travis. Some things are not successful. No, but this wheelchair design was,、yeah. and it can be used to help animals in need. If something is in need, it needs help in some form or another.、Mm. Now, here we mean the animals are in need of a wheelchair、mm. because they can't move around themselves easily or at all.、Mm-hmm. That's right. And today, as we read on, today Pan and Lin make wheelchairs for both pets. And stray animals, so they've turned this idea into a successful wheelchair, and then turned the wheelchairs into a successful business.、Mm, that's pretty good. And we see that through this, so through this wheelchair building、mm-hmm. kind of business company, they hope to save cats and dogs everywhere from an unnecessary fate.、Mm. So unnecessary fate means, of course, if the animal could recover,、mm-hmm. its leg break could heal, they won't need to be put down. They can carry on with their Lives. So this fate, this kind of having to end their lives, isn't necessary if we can help them, and these wheelchairs are helping them. There you go. They're giving Taiwan's injured animals a new lease on life, one chair at a time. Absolutely, getting giving animals a new lease on life, sort of. Giving them a second chance or something、mm. like that, especially after they're injured, is a great thing because otherwise the animal's life would be much less,、yes. much more, you know, boring and、uh, unenjoyable, difficult or difficult, just short, all sorts of stuff. But yes, b- being injured is something that happens to both animals. And people, it basically means you're hurt. You're physically hurt. If you fall down and scrape yourself, you'd be injured. If you were in a terrible car accident and spend months in hospital, you were badly injured. Okay, so we can injure ourselves through little things like just you know cutting your finger if when you're 
chopping up an apple, or you can injure yourself very, very badly. But of course, you're still alive. Your body is just sort of broken. By the way, we don't usually use this for、uh, for things, right? If you、mm. drop your cell phone and break the screen, you might damage your cell phone. But we wouldn't use the word injure. That's for living things, people, animals, stuff like that. For example, Luke fell off his bike last week, but luckily. <sighs> He wasn't injured. He must have fallen on some grass. Okay, and kind of as Mike mentioned, we've got this phrase: a new lease on life, and that is today's pocket phrase go. So let's watch the video, find out what it means, and when we come back from this pocket phrase go, we will be discussing Taiwan、uh, today's for you chat question. Pocket phrase go. 不管。这菜运路不是正经判白，正经规工亲像无啥爽快。安尼今日竟然哦精神起来，整个人神清气爽。She suddenly got a new lease of life when she found out she got pregnant. 啊、哦，原来哦是因为她怀孕了，有了孩子，让她有了希望。Got a new lease of life 就表示得到了新的生机或是活力哦。我们呢可以形容人，也可以形容事物哦。比方说呢 ，The project suddenly got a new lease of life when receiving more funding。因为呢得到了更多的资金哦，这个计划忽然间活了过来。A new lease of life， 你也学起来了吗？ Okay, so our question is kind of about the, I guess, one of the causes of the broken legs in the first place.、Mm. We see that many of the cats and dogs that are injured in Taiwan are strays.、Ah. What do you think we can do to take better care of stray animals? Gosh, that's a big question. Well,、yes. I'd say be careful. When you're driving, especially, a lot of people drive too quickly. They're not paying attention. Animals are not like people; they haven't been trained to look out for cars and other things. So, if you are driving、uh, late at night or in a darker area, you know, slow down a little bit. Not only will that maybe help the animals, but it could help the people also、right. who might accidentally step out into the road. So that's、mm. one thing. Yeah, I guess、uh, a lot of it will come down to education.、Mm. The the stray animals, of course, we can try and try and take care of them, find them homes, put them in shelters.、Mm. But what we really need to do is make sure these animals are not abandoned and let on the、right. streets in the first place.、Yeah. And so that means teaching people how to take care of them. But also what it means to own an animal. That's、okay? right. They're not just cute puppies and kittens. They'll grow up,、mm-hmm. and you can't just go, "Oh, you're not cute enough anymore." Out you go.、Mm. You can't think, "Oh, great, it's having babies," and then suddenly think, "I've got eight dogs." That wasn't what I planned. What you now?、Go. So you've got to think about: Should I make sure my animals don't have babies? Am I going to be responsible enough? Am I going to have enough money and enough time to take care of this animal? If people are making better decisions, then hopefully the animals won't end up on the streets, and that will help cut down the problem. True, fewer strays means fewer injured strays. Yeah, the animals on the streets have also kind of got to be, if they can be treated and at least stop、mm-hmm. from having babies. Even if we can't give them homes, if we can do that,、mm-hmm. then the, they won't have more babies, and we won't get more street or stray animals that way. There you go. The answer lies with us humans, yes, not with the dogs and cats themselves. That is correct. Okay, that is all we have time for today. Hope you've enjoyed learning about animal wheelchairs and so on. Thanks for watching for English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Mike. We'll talk to you again next time. Bye bye. Take care. A second chance for injured animals. It's a dangerous world out there if you walk on four paws. Every year across Taiwan, hundreds of cats and dogs break their legs in road accidents. However, it's often too expensive to make wheelchairs for these animals. Instead, many of them have to be put down. A couple in Shinju is trying to do something about that, though. Pan Jie and his girlfriend Lin Jun. Make special wheelchairs for animals that need them. Pan and Lin started out in 2008 after almost experiencing an animal tragedy. 
a co-worker had hit a stray dog with her car and couldn't afford a wheelchair for it. Rather than let the animal be put down, Pan built a chair for it himself. His design was so successful that he decided to use it for other animals in need. Today, Pan and Lin make wheelchairs for both pets and stray animals. Through this, they hope to save cats and dogs everywhere from an unnecessary fate. They're giving Taiwan's injured animals a new lease on life. One chair at a time. Vocabulary Review Paw The dog's paw was bleeding after it stepped on some broken glass. Couple We talked with a nice couple on the train who had just gotten married and were taking a vacation. Afford Gerald wanted to buy another cup of coffee, but couldn't afford it. Design The chair's design looked modern and stylish, even though it wasn't very comfortable. Successful The thieves' plan wasn't successful, and they were caught by the police. Injured. Helen took care of the injured bird until its broken wing healed. Wheelchair. Tragedy. Stray. Stray dog. Yishang